Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. So today's video is going to be doing a spring makeup. It was requested when I did my when I did my spring makeup reel over on my Instagram just to do a little bit more of a talking through video on my YouTube. So I hope you enjoy. For this, I think I'm going to actually try some new products as well as I kindly received a really lovely parcel from Clinique. I'm just putting in some clips just to remove my hair out the way. If the light goes in and out, I'm just playing with the natural light here as it is really sunny but then if there's a big rain cloud it just vanishes but yeah so I kindly received a parcel from Clinique and I'm kind of introduced to Clinique only recently like around December time my friend Tula invited me to a Christmas event with them and then they kind of gave me some products to try and I have fallen in love and one of the things I think has really cleared my skin is my makeup remover let me just go and get it the first thing I've been absolutely Adoran is the Clinique Take the Day Off. This is a cleansing balm, as you can see. So beautiful, and it just melts in your hands. And you only need a small bit. And I do a double cleanse with this, and my skin has just cleared up so much. I really think that this is what has cleared my skin up the most. I'm using a range of products at the moment, like skincare, makeup, and obviously with the nature of my job, that's kind of what I have to do. So having strong skin is very beneficial for this job, but unfortunately, I don't. I have very, very super sensitive skin and something that I have really noticed making a difference is the Clinique take the day off it just really collects all the dirt the makeup everything it's amazing and I've actually tried some balms in the past and really avoided them because I thought that's what was breaking me out I think it was just the quality of the product this is incredible another skincare product from Clinique I'm trying at the moment is the fresh press it comes in a pack of I think four or five and you squeeze the bottom here and you literally have to do like two drops you have to give it a shake you do this a.m. and p.m. and what I do is make like a little cocktail in my hand of my moisturizer my serum you just rub it on your hand and then on your face but yeah so when I do the vitamin C I put it in with my moisturizer and my serums and like do my SPF and then do like a little cocktail mix it all up and just put it all on together so that's what I do for that but yeah enough rambling so in this parcel that I received very kindly and very exciting so I thought I'd give this a go with you is some of the famous Clinique product. So we have this chubby stick which is a blusher, another chubby stick over here which is a highlighter, two different types of foundations. So this one is the Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation SPF 20 and this is Even Better Makeup SPF 15 evens and corrects. So I think that's more of a tinted natural coverage. Oh this is the more of a natural one so the finish is natural, weightless and medium, hydrates, smooths and brightens skin tone with 24 hour wear. Built with better flex technology, a special blend of polymers that give this foundation flexibility, non-creasing and non-settling. That I think I'm going to try today. Or this one which would probably be better for winter and evening is the Weightless Falls and it gives a satin matte finish. Smooths with silic acid and evens skin tone with vitamin C and 24 hours wear. So even though it's like a fuller foundation, it's got some really amazing beneficial ingredients in there to protect your skin but I think what I'm going to do first is go in with a primer and in my video I used the Laura Mercier this is the pure canvas primer in illuminating I also really love this one this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter I think I'm going to give this one a go this is amazing for also like when you're doing like no makeup makeup days like yesterday I was feeling really poorly but I looked really poorly as well and I feel like sometimes that puts me in a really bad mood so I just put this on and it just made my skin just look super glowy so you can go to town with this I know some people will just like leave it like this then put their foundation on and then blend but I'm going to mix it first and I think I'm going to use a new foundation brush from Clinique to give it a go I'll leave all the products in that box down below I'm gonna give this a go and if you see this glowing light up here and there my um my simple human mirror that is a really nice foundation brush I always rate a foundation brush which looks like you can't see the the bristle marks and it just blurs out so as you can see that gives like a really nice glowy finish so this is really good for like those no makeup makeup days if you just want to put this on and a tiny bit of concealer or for holidays just to have a little bit of coverage on so it'll look nice and glowy so i think i'm going to try an uh, even better foundation and i'm they've given me cn18 cream whip so i hope this is my shade it might be a little bit too light but it is in a yellow tone so we'll should 
give it a go. I'll just start with a small amount at the moment and I'm just doing it bit by bit as I want to make this a really light look. The other foundation that I would have not used is the, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. This is my favourite, favourite, favourite foundation and I'm in the shade 5 but this is actually really lovely as well. Maybe I could go a little bit warmer. It's actually a really pretty finish and as you can see I only used quite a small amount and that mixed with the flawless filter is really pretty. Okay, I think I'm going to put a tiny bit more on because I like the coverage of that but I think I'm going to go a tiny bit heavier but I go a little bit too heavy on my concealer anyway so I don't want to go too mad and also as well this is lighter than my skin tone because if I put on a bit of the beautiful foundation by Charlotte Tilbury yeah look so I'm just going to actually add that leftover bit on just warm it up a little bit but yeah I've been really excited to try out some new makeup products at the moment I think where my skin is in a really good place like I said I'm not doing anything different except what I think has changed my skin which I had done in the past was use the Clinique take the day off so if you want to give it a go if you're struggling and you don't really know what is creating the breakout definitely give Clinique take the day off you can hear banging and <laughs> I have building work next door okay so that feels like a good coverage i'm actually going to just go in with my blender and just touch it up okay so now i'm going to go into some concealer and i've been trying out the new clinique even better concealer and this is really lovely this is in the shade wn04 bone and it's a really lovely coverage i've been using it over the weekend and i'm really enjoying it i love the texture of it as well it's like quite light but it feels quite full coverage oh it actually says the prices of these as well so the even better foundation that i was just using is 30 pounds and the concealers are 23 pounds which i think is quite good so the even better all over concealer and a razor to brighten and contour oh so that's why they've given me a, a dark one i think i'm going to use this for a bit of contour it's a dual end applicator featuring a locked tip doe foot wand and built in blur and sponge and wait what <gasps> whoa i did not know it had that in there so what's that for oh okay so i apply it and then use that to finish it off okay we're gonna give this a go so it comes with an applicator like a built-in beauty blender so that's how i apply my concealer because i have quite a few like old blemishes down there i'm actually gonna spray it with some setting spray just to wet it a little bit I mean that is very handy especially if you're traveling it's a little bit too little if that makes sense the sponge but i'm not mad if i forgot my beauty blender which i did when we went to liverpool i forgot my beauty blender i knew this had it in there that would have been perfection it's okay but i think i prefer i like as well using the blender which also has like the foundation on it as well just to really help with the blending but the concealer itself is incredible that is an amazing little brush i'm not gonna lie but i think i prefer doing it with my usual beauty blender but yeah they're just really brightens the eyes and that color is really good for me because it's like a really nice yellow tone i think that's the best thing with finding that's the key thing when finding your foundation i think it doesn't really matter how light or dark the shade is i think what makes the foundation right for your skin is what tone it is so you kind of got to figure out if pink works on your skin tone or yellow and yellow for me works like that color is a bit too light for me but because it is my skin tone it doesn't matter because it still complements and when i put on bronzer it's gonna hide it anyway that is very clever okay so i'm just gonna blend the last bit in just wanted to brighten that area first and with all the products that i'm using right now i will leave them down below excuse the lighting i'm really sorry about that i'm gonna go on to base but first i'm gonna put on some lipstick so i'm gonna apply my lip liner the max spice and then I'm going to put on some lip balm. And this is another go-to Clinique product. This isn't sponsored, by the way, but I feel like because I had that PR parcel delivered and before I was about to film this, I thought I would do a little <laughs> a little dedication to Clinique because I feel like all I do is share quite a lot of Charlotte Tilbury products, which obviously I'm a massive fan of. But it's really nice to try out some new products as well, also as well share with you guys what products I'm like genuinely loving. So there's some products in here that I use on a daily basis which are Clinique, but there's also some new ones which I'm kind of changing up to what I would usually use. So for example, in a minute, usually in my video i'd be using the charlotte tilbury contour wand but for this video i'm gonna give this a go as well so just trialing out products with you guys but yeah so i'm gonna put on this as the clinique moisture surge lip balm this is beautiful a really good clear lip balm 
and I think it's one of the best. I must say it's either this one, which I just love and obviously with the lip liner it just blends really lovely. Or my other favourite is more like a day one, which is the Clarins. This is the Natural Lip Perfector in the shade 19 or Rosewood. I'll leave it down below. Yeah, shade 19. Absolutely love it. But yeah, this clear lip balm, if you're looking for a clear lip balm, is fantastic. Absolute hero. Okay, we're going to go into base now. And a new product, which I would have used the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand. But I'm going to be using the Clinique Chubby Stick. I have used this before and it is really good. Sometimes I find with a kind of cream blush or bronzer products, I really struggle with. This is stunning. So this is the Chubby Stick Cheek Colour Balm. And this is in the shade. I don't know if it actually has a shade but this is £21 and I feel like you're gonna get so much for this and then what I'm gonna do is literally just apply it straight on to my cheeks like this can you see the color comes out instantly and then just with my fingers I'm just going to blend it so to create a really nice lifted contour cheek you just drag it up your cheekbone like so and then what I love about this is it's so handy to just blend with your foundation so if you make a mistake it's not a massive deal because you're not doing cream to powder, you're doing just all cream products. So you can just keep applying. And I like to make a funny, happy face <laughs> to really create those apples of your cheek look. And I might just put a little bit on my nose. This also could probably double up as a, a lipstick as well. Oh yeah. So that would actually really be lovely for if you're going on holiday and you want a small kit. That is insane. Oh, I really like that. I think I actually prefer that to the Charlotte Tilbury one. <gasps> oh, that is amazing. But yeah, so I'll leave this one down below. It doesn't have a shade, I don't believe. I think it's just one colour. Oh, sorry. It does. It's called Zero One Amp Up Apple. Looks like that. I'll leave it down below. But yeah, that's amazing. And then we also have a Chubby Stick Highlighter in Zero One Hefty Highlight. And it's in this really gorgeous pink balmy colour. So again, I'm just going to apply it straight onto my top of my cheekbones. If you can see it there, can't you? <gasps> That's so subtle. Sometimes with highlighters as well, it can be so obvious, like a layer, where that, because it's a cream, it's just blending into the skin. So I'm just putting it on like my points. And um, yeah, that's beautiful. That's really lovely and super lightweight. Like I could finish like that. If you were doing like a no makeup makeup look, I think if you were doing a no makeup makeup look, I would do, where did I put that stick? I think that's all you really need. And the concealer like a full product. If you had like your brow, if you're not too bothered about your brows or mascara, if you're doing like a really quick out the door, need a little zhuzh up, these, these products would be fabulous. Maybe I'll do that for like a video. Anyway, I'm digressing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into bronzer. Oh, please sun, come on. Where is the sun? So I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if it might be a bit too caramelly. I'll give it a go. This is the Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. And this is in the shade WN94 Deep Neutral. So like they said, you can use it as a concealer. Um, it's designed to be to brighten and contour, which I think is fabulous. So if you had a, this could be an amazing all over holiday look. Um, so like I said, I either usually use the Hollywood Contour one in the shade Fair to Medium. I think it's absolutely amazing. and really love the deepness of it. So this one is a bit more of a caramel colour. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand so we can test it. It's not too bad actually. But you'll see the difference with the darkness. So, <laughs> I don't know if that comes up. It's not actually too bad, but this one's the Charlotte Tilbury one. And this is the Clinique one. So we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, now you can see what my face actually looks like in the sun. So that's what I've done so far. And I'm going to just apply this under my jawline. And then down my nose. So I think I need to go for a deeper colour. So I might apply the Charlotte Tilbury one in a minute. And then just around my head. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with a small brush. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush. Because I like it's got this tip at the end as well. So I could do my nose. I'm just going to buff that in. And then with this, just run that down my nose. I 
Okay, so I'm not mad about it. I don't think it's actually a too bad of a colour. But obviously the one I use is a bit more of a darker colour. So I think what I'm going to do is just set it. So if I was on holiday, I would have probably just left it like that. But because we're still in like UK and I want it to last all day, something you don't want to not mix. Um, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow. You can tell I'm a massive fan of this one. And I'm just going to run that through and just push that up. Just because, like I said, I don't want to be too shiny right now. But I just love the mixture of the like kind of like a cream product. Then set with a bronze with a powder. Because I think that just creates a really lovely dimension, if that makes sense. And it just has that natural glow coming out but other than that i do quite like it i'm just gonna clean it up with my sponge it's like a nice easy hack if it just looks a little bit too messy just like to do that other than that i think the color was wrong but it wasn't too bad like it's still quite a nice color probably a little bit more natural for my skin tone because i am quite fair but i would say yeah like i think i do like the idea that it's more of a concealer because i think it will hold a bit more last a bit longer like it's full coverage um so maybe more of a ideal contouring like cream and product for like nighttime and full glam Kind of see my makeup a little bit more now just like really you can see it's like all nice and dewy in the right places i am gonna set my t-zone in a minute but yeah if that makes any sense a little bit ill on the moment but yeah i feel like that's kind of showing my natural how it looks in the daylight now finally this this is the this is what i wanted please stay but yeah i think that actually works a really nice maybe a bit more natural maybe i actually prefer it for the spring look and then maybe a lighter this is a lighter coverage of a bronzer and this is probably better for more of a summer application but yeah so first thing now i'm going to go and set my t-zone and i'm going to be using um charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish in the shade one fair this is a massive favorite of mine because it's just so lightweight and i'm using it on like quite a flat brush and i just go under my eyes and also around my chin where i have the blemishes and also where you're eating and drinking that's where your makeup's going to remove the most but that's it that's how much powder i'm going to use and i'm going to go into brows and i'm going to be using my favorite product is at the moment is the ico define it brow pencil and i think it's really easy super blendable it comes like any other brow pencil with two sides to it oh it's actually running low so it has the pencil and then the spoolie brush and i think that's a really handy tool to have i'm gonna zoom you in a little bit really easy handy tool to have and also the crayon of the ico pencils are incredible i think they're just super lightweight and really blendable so i have spoken about this before but if you're new i'm gonna just do it for you anyway this is how i do my brows i'm not a pro but this is how i do them so with the pencil i like to draw any pencil you don't have to have this specific pencil but how I like to create a guideline is follow your natural underbrow line like that. So you can see that's just where the shape is and it's just given its structure. And then I'm going to just do some whispery strokes, kind of following where that arch goes and just kind of making it a little bit longer. And then with the spoolie brush of the brow pencil is I'm just going to blend that out by brushing it through. And that gives you an instant quick brow so you can keep it like that or what i like to do is like that's given me like a kind of a stencil of what my brow looks like so then i'm gonna go in little by little and just fill in like maybe making it thicker more strokes to fill in the gaps and then again brushing it through but one of my rules is just keep to the bottom guideline don't put any thickness at the top and then you should be fine and then yeah this beauty brush is amazing just for blending any mistakes and um, and yeah that's what i do and then i just keep going until one is happy so that's my brow but i like to then go in with a cleaning brush and just got a tiny bit of concealer on it tiny bit of concealer on it and i just like to clean it up and that will be if you're not good at brows like me that will be your best friend and then to finish it off i'm going to brush in some of the charlotte tilbury this is the fix brow and it's like a transparent like mascara and it's just going to help keep those brows in shape and just hold it shape so you can push them up and it just helps with them give a bit more volume and make them a little bit thicker so that is one brow so i'm going to go and do the next brow on a time lapse
Okay, so brows are done. We're gonna go into eyes. I'm gonna start with my bronzer first because that is my go-to product when using, when creating my eyeshadow look. Just to create a really nice natural contour and obviously as well, I have that shade around my face. So it works really well. And if you are wanting to put a quick, easy shade onto your eyes, then I'd really recommend just putting on your bronzer because you just cannot go wrong. So I'm doing it with a fluffy brush. I'll leave this Beauty Bay brush set down below, but what I like to do is create little to and from sweeping motions just to blend it all in. And again, like with the brows and with everything, just start really lightly and then build up because you don't want to make mistakes. And it's just super easy. Then with a thinner brush, I'm just going to run that under my eyes like so and in the reel i used a new product which i actually quite like i'm gonna get a flat brush out as well but i used what did I put up? this is the charlotte tilbury pillow talk and it's like a cream eyeshadow pop sorry this is eyes to mesmerize in the shade pillow talk and it's in this really lovely metallic -y rose pink and then just on the back of my finger like so i'm just gonna coat my lid and it's like a really soft buttery eyeshadow and then with that brush sort of blend it in you can go heavy on this this is what i love about these parts is you can go heavy or light but i just love that touch of kind of like mauve pink on my eye i think that looks really pretty and a bit more different it's like it's a nice touch of spring and then again do that on the other eye just pat it away you could do this as well without the bronzer eyeshadow crease I think that will just also look really nice and probably brighten that up a little bit more. So as you can see, I'm just dabbing it really gently, making sure I have access off my finger, and then I'm just blending it in. And it's got like a really nice like a highlight in it as well, so which is quite sweet. So that's what that looks like. Really soft, which is really pretty. Then I'm gonna go in with creating a wing eyeliner because that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna go in with the, you can either use a dark eyeshadow and a little pencil or I use this crayon pencil from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Rock and Roll Liquid, Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. It just comes like this. It's like a really nice like dark brown so it's not too harsh. And I just like to add that to the corner of my eyes really roughly kind of like a brow brush just create that eyeliner look that really smoked out so it's not as harsh as a um as harsh as like a liquid eyeliner it's a bit more soft and then just keep adding yes this is just a little bit more soft which is a bit more nicer for during the day but i like because i've got quite little eyelashes i like to add a little bit of a eyeliner on because am i focused because i think it just gives a bit more of illusion of fuller lashes so i'm gonna apply that to the other corner and again just do a smoky quick eyeline and again i think i say about this all the time but i love this smoky eyeliner look because it's just a little bit less precise and then if you've done a mistake like i have just clean it up like that so that is the eyeliner done i'm actually going to try a new mascara today because i'm just at home and it's something i've been meaning to try out but i've been avoiding it because i've been going out and shooting and i need something that i can rely on so this is my hero product this is the clinique the Claren Super Lift and Curl Mascara. But I've been given the new Clinique High Impact Zero Gravity Mascara, 24 hour lifting formula. And I feel that you can, yeah, you literally just remove it with warm water. Um, so that's where I'm a bit nervous to use this because I really struggle with black under eyes. Like I create like um, panned eyes really easy with mascaras. So that's why this is like a massive hero to me. What I'll do is I'm going to do this and then later when I'm editing this video, if I find that it's dropped, I'll just say because obviously I love all the Clinique products and I feel bad saying it because um, I really like the brand, but I need to be honest and truthful. And if it doesn't work on my eyes and if you have similar problems to me then it won't work but like for example like the um the pillow talk mascara i have friends who absolutely love it rave about it swear by it but for me and my mum it just 
does not work and my, I've got my mum to buy this one as well and she absolutely loves and swears by this as well so this is like a hero piece so yeah I'll leave this down below but I'm gonna give this a go because apparently it's supposed to be amazing and one of the lovely PR girls that I had a meeting with from Clinique actually has the same problems and she said it actually really works so we're gonna give it a go but I'm excited to see what it does with the lifting as it says it gives 24 hour lift and she does not lie that is really curly okay so so far I'm really liking this mascara because it really spreads the lashes out and it's really fine like really subtle super lightweight and it does create a really lovely curl it takes longer to build i'd say i quite like a thick lash however i feel like they've just made my lashes really long i love it so i'm gonna apply some on the outside as well this is where that cleaning product comes in handy again you're a mucky pup like me helps just remove any excess mascara and that is that mascara mm, I'm obsessed okay so ignoring the fact that it may drop <laughs> under my eyes in a bit that is such a beautiful mascara it just like really curls and it feels like I don't know if you can see but it's given my lashes like a really volume length so yeah so I'm obsessed with that I'm really loving my makeup today I feel like I should go out <laughs> um so I'm gonna put on some lipstick now so I'm going to be using the fave one of my other favorites is the Clinique this is the I think it's called Beach Pop yeah this is the Clinique Pop matte lip color and primer in the shade in the shade Beach Pop and it's a really lovely color super creamy as well and it's pretty much like my lip liner potentially a little bit darker yeah actually it's definitely darker but it's a really good lipstick and what I love about this lipstick, I use the mirror cap to apply my lipstick. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to put some setting spray on. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Setting Spray. And that is spring makeup done. So similar to my normal makeup, but just some different touches, some lighter products, some really nice dewy products, and absolutely loving it. Really actually love the combination of the bronzer, the, con the Clinique bronze concealer with, with my powder bronzer. I think that's set really lovely and a bit more of a fuller coverage and I think that just looks a bit more flawless. Absolutely love that. If you can hear the building next door, apologies again, but there's just nothing I can do. But yeah, I'm really happy with some of the Clinique products that I have tried out with this video. Like I said, I will live, give a little quick review later on today when I'm editing the video if the mascara has stayed. So if you do struggle with mascara like I do, then I'll definitely let you know. But other than that, I really hope it does stay because it's given my lashes just such length and volume i absolutely love it and just made them really curly so it's like a natural lvl but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video like always i will leave all the products down below as well as the shades that i'm in also as well with this one i will probably leave another shade down below to a shade that i think i would be better off with but yeah, thank you again for watching. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really supports my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.